Well, I'm highly honoured and highly excited about the guests and the both of here at Croon Bay of the Day. It's the renowned Paul Anderson, fiddle player and very talented young man. Right, on we go. Paul Anderson. Um, well, I'll play a couple of tunes local to him. Um, first thing's one of my own compositions, actually. It's kind of the beauty of Cremar before me. Um, Tarlin's in the Howard Cremar, so it's very much about the landscape around about there and for my kind of ancestors' comfy. And then a tune for just doing the road, it's believed to be maybe Neil Gow that wrote it about the time of the first, um, it's about the time of the first Brigand Ballot that was built in the late 1700s, and it's called the Ballot of Rant. Um, well, I'm from Tarland, which um, it's D side really, although it's about six miles for the D, five or six miles, um, about 30 miles west of Aberdeen, just near to the Cairngorms National Park. And um, I come from a firm and f family, so for I um, bide now, was for my granny and grand I used to bide at the means I can Craigie. Um, I was brought up about, I suppose it's nearly a mile away, old town, or old town. We, we I call it Altoon, and uh, it's a bit higher up, and you actually get a lovely view, uh, like a Loch Nagar and Morven, Mount Keen, so uh, very picturesque. Um, but because my 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 grand and my dad worked together at the dairy, um, we we spent a lot of time there, and when I was about five or six, discovered a fiddle under a spare bed, in a, a box bedroom that was kent as in the family as the glory hole, and um, I should have been sleeping actually, but that was. <laughs> My, my, my little brother and myself were up and put to bed and then we're loping out the minute we heard granny shutting the living room door so um, one of the things we found under bed was um, an old fiddle and this is actually the fiddle which um, was bought for a boy in a pub at, in our broth if I was selling it to uh, uh, basically get seller to, to buy whiskey really it's quite a tragic story, actually, but that's how the family um, got the fiddle. Um, my granny had a brother and sister that played, and she had a, an uncle. Bob was with the Gordon Highlanders during the Second World War, and she wanted a fiddle, really, for him when he came home. Um, and our uncle, the, he was killed at Ypres in the First World War. So there was a tradition of fiddling and outside the family. My mum's up.
was um, the Laird of Drum Blair by James Scott Skinner, um, who came from Barncree. Uh, I'm going to play John McNeil by Peter Milne now when he was from Darwin, like myself. <laughs> Somebody like myself at D's side, now we are on the edge of the, the, the highlands, really. It's, we've got a different sound for somebody in Buchan, and being Fairman folk, we've also got a, a totally different sound for fishing folk as well. You can Buchan, it's very strong in how the, the Doric's spoken. It's strong in a different way around the D side if you get some old farmers, like my granda, <laughs> very broad, and even my dad. Now, my wife's shown us a Will Kent singer, she sings both her ballads. Um, she, I mean, she was the Bothy Ballad champion, the champion in 2009. But for, the first time she met my dad, and now she's for Huntley, first time she met my dad, she kind of, she struggled because it was such a strong way of speaking. But, um, <laughs> so there's lots of things that have an influence, but trying to support and cultivate Doric and, and, and encourage it, it's, it's difficult because of the, the period that we live in, but it's the same for lots of things. Major languages like German, they're worried in Germany because there's so, so many Americanisms coming into how folks speak in Germany. So kind of the Germans are worried about German. <laughs> you can imagine something that's near, near so widespread, is it, it, it's doubly diff difficult, even more so. So the fact we still speak it, I mean, it's, this is not a new thing. This has been going on for a long time, you can. And uh, I suppose Northeast folk, traditionally, it felt like you didn't look like you were getting on in the world if you spoke like you would... At your own kale yard, you can folk. I think that there was the, the perception that, um, oh, I'm getting on because I'm talking properly now. You can, it shows that you've you've gotten on in life. For us, for me personally, as a musician, I've never found it's made a blind bit of difference. I think, um, having gone to America, folk really respond to the distinctness. Um, you have to be understood the best. I mean, you can still speak Sp Scots, but I think it's more important to, um, to speak clearly. And um, that um, authenticity is quite an important thing in an increasingly homogenised world. You just need to look at high streets for every one of them. Can they're almost identical. The, the things that mark you as being distinct, I think, are a, are a great strength nowadays. So, And I think fiddle playing, you know, or any kind of music is universal mm -hmm. and it's timeless. It is. Aye, oh, absolutely. And I think you're just going to, there's a cue for a, a tune there, a timeless fiddle tune. A timeless Paul. fiddle tune. Yeah. Well, let's see. Um, right, I'm going to play Tullach Gorham. I was speaking about Stra Space. This is, you know, the, 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 the greatest ever written. It's, it's almost, you know, it's, it's like it's come from the distant past. It's a tune called Tullach Gorham, which I love. And it, folk like Neil Gow and James Scott Skinner loved playing this tune. I had it in the repertoire, so... Paul, it's your absolutely enthusiasm for our culture, our background, our language, and you wrap that up in your music. Right, okay. Paul? Okay, okay. And thank you very much indeed because you are helping the youngsters of today to be aware of our culture through not just your music, but how you present yourself. You're on social media, and that's what youngsters are tapping in today is social media. They need to care where they've come from. Who are we? Who will be in the future, Paul, if we didn't came far with comfy in the past? That's the dominant place. So the fact that we've still got this kind of thing now, it, it's it's resilient. I mean, it, a lot of folk maybe didn't even realise the spick Scots, but they're using words all the time. It's such a, it's such an instinctive thing. that it, it just, I think it just needs a bit of coaxing. I think in a lot, if you can 
find a way of getting youngsters to really connect to it and feel proud of it that yeah. actually it's how do you do that they, youngsters will pick up just on who you are your pride of you who you are today and your pride in your culture and your background you know subliminally or is a good word <laughs> they will pick up on it paul and that's what we need to do is just to present who we are and keep on doing it to keep our culture our direct culture and language alive come on paul geese about all right <laughs> With a tune, it's actually a pipe tune, it's got the P. Brock O'Donnell do, but just a couple of weeks ago it would have been the Lorich Gathering um, up in South Dawn, which is not too far from where I am. Um, and the Lorich men usually come into the games park to this tune, so it's kind of seasonal, but it also it, it, it spans a kind of like the, the, the Gaelic and the Scots speaking worlds quite nicely because it's um, Black Donald's. Bibroch is what it is, and he was the chief of the clan Cumberlands at the Battle of Harlow. <laughs> And it's in your music. Just keep on doing what you're doing. Right. I'm less comfortable speaking like this the I am now. Because Doric TV, I can. That's the only thing you want. But <laughs> I, I, I've, I've done stuff for the, the, the Can you tone that down? Um, and I, I think it's a great disservice because it doesn't expose folk. It's treating them like idiots that oh, too many folk won't understand. Well, I think they will. How do they get to learn the local words that are not hearing them? Can exactly. they do so anyway, but I feel like I should get off my soapbox now. No. So for, your... for many years I was a full-time uh, firm worker, uh, working with my dad, as was my brother, he did the same, and my gra grand was eyeing the go, but by the time I got to about, I suppose it was the age of about 27, 28, um, I'd been really, really busy with the playing, and um, the only bit that's worked in a dairy kens how um, consuming it is all the time. You kind of just go on and leave the coos for two or three days. They need milking every day. So I was finding whiles I'd be finishing the milking on a Friday, had to go down to Glasgow to play, and then driving home the same night. And, that, and that's they'd being up at half past five. And then I'd maybe be doing the same the next day. Um, and it was mere and mere a case that I was finding myself nodding at the wheel. I had a few quite scary moments coming over Glen Shee or coming back over at Cabra, things like that. And so it, it began to come into my mind that maybe I, I'd quite like to hear go at play, playing professionally. I play very traditional Scottish fiddle music. Um, I mean, there's quite a few folk make a living for traditional music, but it's mere kind of bands, touring, stuff like that. I've specialised very much in the kind of older traditional style, which um, really suits me. I mean, it's actually a, it's a nice fiddle, and this is... The fiddle I've done, all my recordings on ATV stuff for um, kind of concerts abroad. That's the fiddle pretty much that I've played all these years. Um, so it's it's my singing voice really. So <laughs> Sure, the numbers are going round. Uh, <laughs> you can tell I'm not very professional, Paul, like this lad here. Anyway, um, you know, this is what they used to do in the old days. They used to meet together at a Kaylee, for a Kaylee and just listen to the music, the click, you know, and just the, the, the togetherness. Now, that's what we need to be keep on doing today. The togetherness through the word, the spoken word, and just being together and being who we are. Paul. Really?